everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. Today I'm going to make a couple of different watercolor cards using one stamp set. This is a new stamp set from Stampin' Up! and I just really love it. It is so cute. It doesn't, it's not available till June 1st. Um, you can get all the details on it on my blog. I'm also using two new in colors. These are reinkers and they are Peekaboo Peach and Flirty Flamingo. <clears throat> and I've just Put some of the ink into uh, wells over here on in my um, little painting palette and then I'm going to get my brush wet and start working on the um, painting for this card. So this card, this the reason I'm showing you this two different ways is because I had all kinds of ideas running around in my head for this card and I simply could not come to one conclusion, I guess is the best way to describe it. It was like I had ADD with this stamp set. I, I could think of how I wanted to do it, but I couldn't make it actually happen. And so um, there are lots of examples of what I did with this card or with this stamp set because I couldn't come up with what I wanted to do. So I ended up just making a bunch of different ones. So you can see the pictures of all of them that I made over on my blog because I don't show them all here, but I do show a couple of different techniques here. So this is basically, I'm just taking Flirty Flamingo and I'm dropping it into the flower and I've already wet the flower so it kind of spreads really easily. The pigment spreads really easily. And then I took my um, pe peekaboo peach and I added it to the ends of the flowers. And then I just felt like it was too much white space. So I started pulling that color out from the corner and moving it all the way towards sending a smile. Now, in hindsight, this probably was enough. But then I started looking at the other side of this card and going, this is just too much white. I don't like it. I feel like it needed more. So I started adding some ink here after I got the um, space wet on my watercolor paper. I'm using Strathmore watercolor paper, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. And I started adding Peekaboo Peach and moving it around. And ultimately, I ended up not really caring for it. You saw the card in the beginning. But then when it dried, it looked great. So I really liked it. So then there was this card. So... <laughs> Then I was like, well, let me use some Emerald Envy and see how that turns out. So I started doing all my stamping and I'm using Stays on Ink to stamp. And um, like I said, this video is really kind of just a hodgepodge of ideas because one thing led to another and then things didn't come together. And I just, I almost didn't put this video up because it was kind of crazy. But then I thought, no, I really wanna show you the truth, the what it's really like when you're trying to create something or when you have an idea in your head and everybody struggles with that. It's not um, like, oh, because you've been doing this for a long time, you don't have struggles with putting a card together or an idea together. Everybody struggles with it. I mean, even people who have been doing this for 20 years. And so I think sometimes when we see YouTube videos, it's so easy to watch the videos and go, oh, wow, look at these great ideas this person comes up with. And they must be, it must be so easy for them to create. And really, that's not the truth. Sometimes, yes, sometimes things come really easy. But most of the time for me, I have to muddle through trying stuff out before it really works out for me. So here I'm doing kind of the same same technique, which is adding water to the flower first and then dropping ink in. And when you do that, the ink just spreads on its own. It kind of takes on its own direction and does what it wants to do. So here you can see, this is after I finished all my painting and I created um, the card, I finished the card up and used some white heat embossing on a little black label there to finish it. And I really, really like how it turned out. So that card I really like. And then I have a few other cards, like I said, over on my blog. You can check those out by heading over there. And I hope that you really like this video. If you want to see more videos with watercoloring ideas, you can click on either of the images that you see below. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.